What's up guys, my name's Ryan from the Indie Music Academy and welcome back to the channel where we uncover the mysteries of the music industry, learn how to grow a larger fan base and earn an income from our music. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use Facebook ads to get massive exposure for our music. So hit that subscribe button and give this video a like and let's dive into today's five minute action plan. <laughs> Most independent artists have tried using Facebook and Instagram ads before. It's super easy, or at least it's made to look that way. Facebook has a feature called Boost Post, and a lot of you have probably used it before or have been tempted to use it because they make it look so easy. It's just one click, just cost about 20 bucks, and they're gonna send your post to a bunch of fans. Well, you probably figured out that it's not that simple. And the first thing that I wanna share with you today is that boosting posts is the wrong way to go about using Facebook ads to grow your audience. I'm gonna dive more into that later in this video, but the second mistake that I want you to avoid is not using the correct targeting when you create your ads and being too broad and using demographics that are too inclusive, like the entire US or even your entire state. You need to be a little more specific and a little more strategic to how you're targeting. And I'll share a few tips about that as well. But the last thing I wanna steer you away from before we dive into our five minute action plan is I don't want you to actually run ads to your Spotify profile. You might think that it's a cool way to get more streams and to get more fans, but with the cost of a click being around a dollar and a Spotify stream only earning about 0.004 cents, it's gonna be a huge waste of money running that ad for any long period of time. But the point of ads is so that you could eventually make money by running ads, not just burn that money just for the sake of your numbers growing. Okay, so I'm gonna give you three steps to run better ads to actually get a lot of visibility for your music the right way. Step one, I really need to filter the people watching this video so that you don't jump the gun a little too much. So I'm gonna start out by saying, don't even run ads until you have a product available to sell. If you think that music is gonna be your product to make your ads break even, think again. You can easily make the mistake of racking up a Facebook ads bill by running a ton of ads, but keeping them on the platform where they can't really do anything to your benefit other than follow your page. Basically, you're turning your hard-earned money into Facebook followers, which is a currency that's not really gonna do much. Secondly, even if you do get people to click a link in your ad and to get off of the Facebook site, they better be going to a place where you can make that money back quickly. And Spotify, Apple Music, pretty much any streaming service that's gonna be paying you pennies per stream is not gonna help you make that money back. You need a product, you need some kind of physical or digital product that's gonna be earning you dollars, not pennies, because it can cost you as much as one, two, even three dollars to get that person to click on your ad in the first place. Step two when running more effective Facebook ads is to use better targeting and to get rid of the demographic targeting altogether. There's a feature called custom audiences within Facebook ads where you can upload a list of fans using their email addresses and create an audience based off of those people. The reason why custom audiences are so much better is because I'm assuming that as a musician, we're gonna be running lower budget Facebook campaigns. We're not a huge agency and we're not a Fortune 500 company spending hundreds of thousands in ads a day. So these huge audiences are never gonna be reached with a $5 a day budget that we're probably gonna end up running. That's why using a custom audience benefits us because we can upload a list of our email subscribers, for example, and run ads to them so that they're getting our emails and they're also seeing us on social media through sponsored posts. And it's gonna create this omnipresent effect where they're just thinking, man, this artist is everywhere. They must be at the top of their game. And the truth of the matter is that you will be because those multiple touch points is what's gonna create a deeper connection with that fan. Lastly, step number three when using Facebook ads more effectively for your music is to install the Facebook Pixel on your website. The Facebook Pixel is just a bit of code and you grab it from Facebook and you install it in the code of your website. Once you have it there, it'll actually track every single visitor on your website and link it back to their Facebook profile. The magic of that is you just set up a way that you can retarget visitors of your website. A real world scenario is this. If you have a concert coming up, which is a high ticket item, it's not just a stream. You're gonna be making 10, 20, $30. That's the perfect item to run ads to, especially retargeting ads 
on your web page visitors. If someone visits that checkout page for your concert and for whatever reason they don't check out, the Facebook pixel will know that they were on that checkout page and they'll link it back to their Facebook or Instagram profile. And at that point, you can target them with follow-up ads to remind them that your concert's coming up and they forgot to check out. That's gonna help bring more people to your concerts and that is a really effective way to use Facebook ads. The name of this series is called 30 Days of Action. So I urge you to take action on all of these things that are gonna propel you forward in your music career. And sometimes the simple encouragement of a community that believes in you is the difference between achieving your musical dream and giving up. That's why I made the Indie Growth Coaching Community. Finding information is not hard. You could find it all on YouTube. The hardest thing is actually sticking to one formula and one single method of growth for a year so that you can actually achieve your goal and have clarity and focus on what you need to do for your music career every single day. If you're interested in letting me be your guide and giving you clarity in this complex music industry, I put a link in the description below for you to check it out. So that's it for today's five minute action plan. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to use sync licensing to get your music on TV and in film to grow your audience and to supercharge the visibility of your music through film.